Hello my friends, today I want to show you my favorite action in Photoshop. I do have a lot of actions, some of them I use often and some never. Today we will edit this photo, it's nothing special, just a flower photo I took this morning in my garden. And I will take it to Photoshop and then we will add that action and see what it does. So first I want to raise the exposure just a little bit because it is a little bit underexposed. Then I want to bring the highlights down a little bit because I shot in bright uh, sunlight. There was no overcast or shade. So I'm just going to bring the highlights down, something like that. Then I want to increase the whites. Not too much. That looks good to me. I just bring down a little bit the blacks just to get a little bit more contrast. That looks great. Now I do want to add a little bit of texture and clarity just to the center of the flower. So I will... Take a radial gradient and just apply it over here. I'll do texture maybe 23 and clarity about 20, 2019, something like that looks good. Now this is one of my uh, creative lenses that I use all the time when I do flower photography. It's just different than any other lens I have. I am not going to tell you which lens it is because I want you to guess it in the comments below. And uh, I will do a review of this lens very soon. Uh, just a hint, it is not a lens baby lens. Command D to move it into Photoshop. And now that we have the image in Photoshop, I will go into my actions. And my favorite action that I use often is under, let's see, who makes this action? Uh, it's made by Greater Than Gatsby. And the, they have different collections. This one is the Painterly Portrait Collection 2. And the favorite um, action, it is called Turner. So there we have Turner. And if I just click play, it's playing it. And let's see what kind of result it gives us. And there it is. Now, of course, it softens the whole image. So you do have to use a brush and mask and the parts that you want it to stay really sharp. And I really like this kind of painterly look that it gives it. It's not, it's not an Orton effect. I know how to create an Orton effect. And most of the actions I have over here, I have many, many folders of actions. I know how to reproduce and create them. But this one, I just cannot figure out how they created this. There's something magical about this. Let me show you a couple of different examples to see how this action works. For the example, this one, if I just play the same action, you see, it just gives it that painterly look. And of course you can, you know, mask with the brush, the parts that you wanted to keep sharp and whatever. I'm gonna show you some more examples. Now I'm not sponsored by them. I don't even know them. I bought those action packs and I just wanted to share with you because sometimes it's cool to just use actions and there you go. How beautiful is that? This is the before and after, before and after. Let's do a couple of more examples. That was the flower that we did edit. Let's try it on this one. I'll just click play. And let's see, before and after, before and after. I feel like it definitely helped with reducing the distracting background before and after. And of course you can play it again. Let's play it one more time, see what happens now. There you go. Now we have even more blur and of course we wanna mask the face so we keep the details. So this is the before and after. Let's try a few more examples. All right, let's see, play. Wow, this one, we really made it like a painting. How beautiful it is. Look at that. Before and after. Before and after. All right, let's take more examples. I have the feeling it's going to do a wonderful job on this one. I like this image a lot. There you go. And if we mask in the face, so we retain the details on it. There you go. Before and after before and after. Let's try a couple of more examples. 
All right, this is a very busy photo, lots of direct sun. And there you go. Now it's just a little bit more magical, isn't it? All right, do I have more examples for you guys? Let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to see that one. All right, that's it. I do not have any more examples. And um, yes, if you do know which lens is this one, please comment below. I'm curious if any of you guys will guess it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing. I will see you in my next video.